Papa Nurgle, bless you all. These are the Fox Walkers. They are basically disgusting creatures just walk. They are abominations to nature and to everything the Emperor breathes in. And it's pretty interesting. Now, most of them, when they came into the box, it were, they were like one piece. There's one of them that's supposed to be from just one piece. And the others were still like two pieces maximum. Hmm. Now, they usually have. Mm, they're melee strikers. So. We have problems if you want to try and fight range units with these guys. But, nonetheless. They're pretty amazing. <coughs> now, folk walkers are another group creations and. There's one more Nurgle creation we have to look at before finishing the series for the first strike. Now about the models, they honestly I appreciate them appreciate them more than <coughs> the Space Marines. So as much as that sounds like heresy, my reason is very simple. The models just feel better. Not only comes to plastic, but the design. Basically, they're smaller, they're easier to carry, they're easier to hold, not like those other ones were hard, but this, but they represent a part of the game that is on a small scale and feels a little bit better. Someone said that she wanted to just start into collecting Warhammer 40k and not playing, you should probably go and collect Chaos. Mm -hmm. Chaos Warriors and Age of Sigmar stuff. Which I plan to get some Age of Sigmar, but. <coughs> the Chaos Regiment is still the only thing I have. Now, since this is a review of the Pulsewalker, I can't really tell you much. I mean, they're small, they're. They basically stand on a 25 or uh, 26, I guess, base. Not inches, because that would be a lot. Some kind of numeric empirical value that has no meaning where I live in. It's when we just basically consider them. We don't really consider them anything. And they look amazing. But pulling them together is. Pretty easy, I mean, as I said before, they're just one piece or basically two. And if you're careful and you use clippers, suitable or not, you can pretty much get them out pretty, pretty easily. They seem to sit and fit pretty well, even with the system Games Workshop had in place, you know, the one supposed to fit for these things. But I, but I decided to glue them together since. Well, I want to be them to be more sturdy. Now, let's go on to <coughs> their characters. As you can see their movement, their weapon, their toughness, their, uh, their focus, their power. This unit contains six folk walkers. Each model is equipped with an improvised weapon. A hammer, basically, or an axe. The improvised weapon is a melee weapon. And that's it. Their abilities, though, are so Look at this Nurgle thing. Papa Nurgle bless them. Your ability is disgusting resilient. Each time a model in this unit loses a wound, you can roll a dice and on a 5 or 6, that model does not lose the wound. Pretty good. Curse of the Walking Pox. Each time an enemy model is slain by Pox Walker in fight phase, add one model to the Pox, Pox Walker unit. Pox Walker unit. So they're pretty much a pretty good to both are the forces. Mindless. Folk walkers never have to take morale tests. Which, I mean, they don't. Morale test basically means how much you care when one of your fellow folk walk, fox walkers dies. They don't really care that much. Having been monstrosities and all that. Yeah, I can see them pretty much used if you want to. 
have more units. So you can boost their force of speed. Good. When they kill something. And that's about it. Also, the amazing art for these cards are quite good. Thanks for watching.